<laughs> just not to forget, because I had a couple drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow, first of all, I'd love to thank all of the nurses, the secretaries, the techs. All of you have been amazing. You have given us so much support and love throughout this whole three years. And all those times when we needed to pick me up, you gave it to us. So we thank you so much. You guys are all amazing and we love you. <laughs> to all the docs, all the midwives, all the NPs that are here, thank you. You guys have taught us so much and I don't know how to thank you enough. Bev, who is not here tonight, unfortunately, I wish she was. She was my introduction into a BD, PAPS, STDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, where does it go? PNBs, ROBs, everything. Thank you, Bev. I wish you were here because you started this for me, and I love you for it. Thank you so much. To, of course, Carmen, who Carrie already um, discussed. Carmen, thank you. Because of you, we got into grad school. Thank you. And here we are now. We're finishing it up. We really appreciate those letters of recommendation. And, of course, you can bless our hands. And that was so amazing. And we love you, Carmen. And Kathy Voss. Remember that sweet corn? So who knows El Torito? Well, I've gone to El Torito a million times. Never had that sweet corn or whatever it's called. <laughs> Anyhow, during our clinic days, we get an hour lunch, and we would escape, run to El Torito, go to El, and guess what? We got some sweet corn, and I love it. <laughs> oh my God, I love that stuff. So Kathy, forever El Torito and sweet corn, I will think of you. <laughs> and also thank you for those times you were stuck with me as a student. And you taught me so much, and your patience and everything was so appreciated, and we love you. Darlene, who also isn't here. Darlene is my commander, and I am her rookie. And I must say that she is amazing, and Carmen chose her for me, and she did not think she was going to be an amazing preceptor. She doubted herself for whatever reason, and she was perfect for me. And I love her, and I cannot express my my appreciation. I wish she were here. Um, she saw me do my first repair. Ooh. <laughs> and to those of you who know, sewing up a vagina really isn't that easy. <laughs> and she was there when I did my last. And so, darling, thank you for, of course, being patient and <laughs> teaching me all the tricks. I can sew vaginas. <laughs> and you for us. You you're also not here, but you worked with us. You gave us our schedules, and we appreciate all your hard work. I know it wasn't easy. You worked around our schedules. Working full time and going to school was a chore, and you made it um, a lot easier than it could have been. So. My thanks to you and love out to you from us. I wish you were here. Verna! Oh my gosh, Verna, you're not here either! Oh my gosh. But Verna, I want to give a shout out to Verna because Verna was the first midwife who walked out of the room and let me repair a vagina all by myself. And let me tell you, I needed that because it gave me such a boost of confidence when I realized Verna, oh my gosh, I will never forget you, <laughs> because I needed that. God knows I needed that. Other than that, I had someone behind me and I was saying, do I go here, here, here? And eventually I got it all sewed up, but she left, and I did it by myself, and I realized, oh my god. And we, Bev and I, happened to see this lady with twins, and uh, she needed a C-section. And it was really cool because Dr. Jones invited me to assist with, to assist her in the C-section, and it was really awesome. 
and it was rad. And I loved it. And Dr. Jones, thank you, because you have done it since then. And although we haven't quite taken that first assist class yet, which we are planning on, it was amazing, and I loved it, and I'm so thankful. So thank you. Oh my gosh, and I cannot forget about Dr. Jabelli. <laughs> Dr. Jabelli and Dr. Beanie, every day I was in the clinic, decided that they were going to wear out on me for whatever I was wearing. And act like I should have been dancing on a pole, which I'm going to tell you right now is not true. I was wearing professional attire that I bought from Macy's online. And it made me laugh. Actually, it was quite amusing and I look forward to it. So I kind of love being on that side, the cool side of the modules where Dr. Jabelli was and Bev and I. And I got ragged on for where he's been promiscuous, which wasn't. And it was so much fun. And so thank you for making me laugh and for all your support. You are amazing. So oh my god, who else have I left out? Oh my gosh. Well, all of you who are you all of you who are who are here, actually. So friends, family, thank you. To Ba. Ba is Carrie's husband, and I call him Ba because Ba is Ba in Greek, that means dad. And I just call him Ba. The kids call him Ba, I call him Ba. And I'm willing to thank Ba because Ba, who all the time that I couldn't send with Carl, Ba took care of me. He cooked me dinner. I wanted him to wash my clothes, but he didn't. And he fell asleep on the, on the couch, and we video, video, video took him snoring multiple times, which was quite amusing for us during long episodes of studying, along with some wine. But anyway, we did, we really, we studied, we really did. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, who else is on this list? Oh my gosh, of course, my fellow graduates. And of course, um, not all of them could make it, but I'm so thankful for those of you who, are, who did. And we love you, and we couldn't have gotten through this program without you. So thank you and a shout out to you. Elizabeth, we have actually many of our fellow classmates, who there's only 11 of us, who are active duty in the military. And so I really wanted to give a shout out for those of you who serve our country. So thank you, Elizabeth. And just like you said, our friendship has grown, has been amazing, and you have stuck by me through these most difficult, horrific times of long 12-hour study days, and we are not kidding about that, and four pots of coffee. And girl, I love you, and I have to give you a hug. And Ba, oh my gosh, and Papu, and the kids. <laughs> if you look at Nico, he has my like, kiss marks on his face, and it's so cute. And I like it, and I'm proud of it. Okay, to my children. I have two kids up here. And I just wanted to give a shout out to you because I know that I've been kind of missing in action for the last three years, and I'm sorry. And I have missed you, and I hope that you miss me too. I don't know. It might have been like an amazing moment where, hey, mom's gone, let's party. I don't know. Because I was gone, I have no idea what they were thinking and what they were doing. They could have been partying it up. Probably were. Anyhow, I love you. Thank you guys for supporting me and understanding. And I know I wasn't always there. And um, it was busy. And I appreciate you guys being beside me and hanging out. So, I love you. Thank you guys so much. I just want to do a quick shout out to my dad, who couldn't be here, and I miss him, and I think about you every day. And last but not least, Carl. Hey, Carl.
think that I forgot you. You know that I love you with all my heart. You have been my rock throughout this. I know you had to put, you had to put up with me whining a heck of a lot, I'm sure. All those times when we didn't get to see each other very often, we had to cut, you know, cut our visit short. And Bob took care of me. And <laughs> Hanging by me, it's been a really, it's been a tough year for me. And you were always there. And you listened, and you hung out, and you didn't complain. And here you are, and I love you so much. So, I can't think of a better moment with all of you here, all of our friends and family, to ask you a question. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs>